All right, good morning everybody. I'm here with Michael. Michael, you want to tell these guys what you do? Hey, I'm with Roadrunner Equipment and we are here to grade this road that has been destroyed over the winter. So as we look down, go ahead and check it out. You can see that she's not in the best of shape and she has no crown right. whatsoever. And we had somebody else come in here and do some grading and what they did, their solution to the grading was just to, to flatten it out. They just pushed everything to the side. So what our plan is, is we're gonna take all this dirt and we're gonna bring this back into the main road, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna use this dirt to then fill in this big ditch that's here all the way up the side of this roadway here, fill that ditch in, and then we're gonna create a crown in here. And there are many areas in this road that we'll need to bank so we won't we won't necessarily have a crown in those spots but we'll at least bank it so that the water has somewhere to run this road also That's goes up it goes from the house it goes up and then goes back down towards the the main road there so and this is the problem we've got so we've got when you when you grade a road flat what happens is is you the water has nowhere to go and so then when you create a, a hole like this, when a car hits it, it splashes the dirt to the side, and then all it does is make that hole bigger and bigger and bigger. And by creating a crown, so a crown. Here's a good looking one. Yeah, so what, is, here, what a crown here. does is a crown gets the water to shed off to one side or the other side. And what with the Roadrunner, it's the only grading bar in the Is that still true? Is, that, is it the only one or is somebody else? We have, we have not seen another dual hydraulic unit that is out there. So what it does is it allows us to crown one way, crown another way, so we can control both sides, so you can be hyper efficient. Now we're not going to be hyper efficient in this case because we really want to do a really meticulous job. Right? Correct. And we're going to do a little bit more because we're going to pull all the material that was pushed off back onto the road. So I'm not worried about doing it, but in the, in the best case scenario, if a guy was going to buy this and he had a contract with the county or something, he could come in in two swipes, just like a road grader, just... Yep. Right? It's basically built to be a miniature motor grader. Yeah. So, you know, we, we've made it to where it's more compact. It can be put on a skid steer or a tractor even. So the wheel kit, tell me about the wheel kit, who wants it and why? Okay, so the wheel kit itself is really how this, this attachment performs its best with okay. the wheel kit. Why is that? Uh, because it adds so much stability to it. Um, it takes bounce and shake out of the machine. It gives you a smoother ride. It helps you guide better. So if you do have areas in the road that are bumpy or sloped, this wheel kit, because it sits on a kind of teeter-totter seesaw back and forth, it allows for however the road is to then straighten out the attachment. What's the money? The money on a piece like this is gonna be around 10 grand with wheels, dual hydraulic, and then shipping. electrical pin connector on the machine, hydraulic hose one, hydraulic hose two, and you're in business. You're not wiring anything into the cab of your machine at all. It just runs off from your existing controls.
Because what I'm doing yes. is I'm actually raising up the grader bar in the back, and then I'm just using the rakers and I'm controlling it. And look how buttery smooth that oh, is. It looks great. I was just sitting here with Zach talking about how nice it looks right here. And yes, back dragging is definitely an option. People ask me all the time, can I back drag though with the wheel kit on? Well, we're seeing that's that, that makes it better because what I'm doing come on come on this way Let's you go, can let's go look straighter it. as you back drag with the wheel kit. It kind of lines everything up for well, you What I'm doing is I'm putting the wheels down So I'm raising the back up off, yeah. and then I put the raker down So that I can get this fine tooth I, I bet you could make this into a seed bed if you wanted to you could loosen oh, up absolutely. soil. you could use this not just for grading but look at this absolutely this is you know this is also a tool that can be used for landscapers that are doing final grades around a building or a part big parking area yep. or yes if you're going to do massive seating uh you can flatten some land out with this thing got to be some there's a little bit of a learning curve with this mm -hmm. which is fine because that tells me that once you get it dialed in yeah it takes some time to dial it in i mean i've sure. been i've been playing with it for what half an hour 45 minutes or so and i got that buttery smooth but that's the easy part right we're getting into the hard part at this at this point so this is the crown so if you turn yeah. that camera zach so right here from this point right here we've got to move the material we're right? gonna get all this all this stuff and fill in the gap here where you you pulled out this okay. pump and then we're gonna we're gonna start building our crown here right here okay. okay all the way up to that peak in the road the top top portion of the road there okay so if we're gonna do that what do you want me to do you want me to take this material and move it to the middle or no i want you to just pull through okay. on the right side because your blades are angled to the right to the left Turn they're pushing the left. pushing push, left always pushing to the middle always of the road. pushing left at 10 degrees so you're going to push push this material along the side here fill in the gap and then you're going to come through again so you're going to you're probably i want you to start out on this side just at grade once we get there then we can start talk about dropping the blade so then if i wanted to push toward the middle i'd have to come at you yes so you go down the end of the road turn, turn around, around rinse come, repeat wash rinse and repeat but do we want to actually take anything from this side um i don't i don't think so it's kind of one of those things that you really have to eyeball every yeah. road's different every scenario is different so as you get going you'll get the feel 
Okay. And then you'll understand how things are looking. You know, stop, get out, take a peek. through what do you mean by powering through well like the the rest of the way but this looks great we got a crown right absolutely you okay. shouldn't see it you sh it should not necessarily be fully visible to you okay if it's visible a visible mound you've crowned too much <laughs> you shouldn't you've should gone be, too far yeah, brother <laughs> it should definitely okay, yeah, be yeah. very subtle okay and this looks like a beautiful slab here Okay. Water's going to run right where it needs to. Okay. You're not going to get potholes. You're not going to get washboarding at this point. And, and once you do this, if you need to go back and do it again over after you have traffic that comes through, mm -hmm. it's very simple it's because you've already done all the hard. Yeah. The little touch up. I mean, it's, at that point, you're literally going, <whistles> turn around. Actually, you know what I there. found the most effect. I, I found this machine to be as effective backwards as it is forwards. Yeah, you do like to go backwards. I you? love going backwards <laughs> because you can see everything and then I can just, I could just make it just, I can just get it. I can fine tune it. Like where I'm going forward, I'm like, well, shoot, I hope that was right. Shoot, I hope that was right. But when I'm going backwards and I can see it, I can, and I can feel it. I don't know. I just grew up going backwards, I guess. Well, and you kind of hit the nail on the head. We had actually, while I was watching you do this, I had a customer texting me asking me well what's the wheel kit good for and can i can i back drag with the wheel kit on and yes you can you've obviously seen stanley I think it's doing better that. i think it's better back dragging with the wheel there you kit. go if you can run backwards you can do it <laughs> well that's going to be it for this video so if guys want one of these where do you guys find them at michael roadrunnerblade.com b-l-a-d-e roadrunnerblade.com and it's just in time because the horse flies are starting to come out. Here they come, man. <laughs> they're they're swarming go. him. <laughs> he must be a lot sweeter than I am. All right, thanks, Michael. Much, much appreciated. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride, and I hope you learned a few things. If you've ever crowned a road and you've got any tips, tricks, or pointers, let me know. And I know some of you guys will say that you can grade this road faster using a bucket than I can with my Roadrunner blade. And you are welcome to come on up to Northern Minnesota and grade my road out and prove it to me. And I'll go head to head with you if you think you can do it. Because why not? That's what makes life fun. But that's it for this one. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We'll catch you on another one. How's the road, Frankie? Smoother than what it was. <laughs> well, it should be buttery smooth, not just smoother than what it oh, was. Because yeah. I could, I could take a lawn rake and make it smoother. I can than go it was. like two miles an hour down coming in here. All right, All right Frankie. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. See now you can see him rocking and rolling because that's where I have haven't graded yet. This is the after scene here. Just let you guys take that in. So there is a little bit of a learning curve because the, you have the ability to cut or fill from one side of the road to the other side of the road with just the flick of a switch. But this machine isn't limited to just grading roads anymore. They now have a new attachment that makes this a 365 day a year machine. Check it out. Okay, Michael, what are we looking at with this now? What is this? Uh, so this is our snow push blade that you can add on to any of our attachments. Um, this is gonna mount on the very back of the unit. So if you, if you currently have one you basically you're gonna have to do some drilling you're gonna have to drill two holes in here which is gonna be fairly simple and then basically that that snow push is gonna sit right inside of this this bar so it's actually you're gonna drill your holes here and that snow push will sit right in front of here and then you can use this to 
What do you do with the uh, the grater bar and the and the rake? Well, you raise it up or drop it down, however you want. Okay, so you just move them out of the way so that yep. this, and this uses, it's kind of like a propylene edge to it. So you're not gonna damage asphalt. So if you do have an asphalt or a gravel driveway or asphalt or concrete driveway, you're not gonna damage it because this is a reversible propylene edge from what I can see. Yes, that is accurate. And we didn't want people to feel like they couldn't continue to maintain their driveway even while they were pushing snow. So if you got one of these and you want to get use year round, just buy the snow pusher and now you got yourself, you're, you're in business 365. You got it. And all of the attachments that we're building currently will actually already, they'll start having the holes in them mm -hmm. so that you don't have to drill holes. You just mount it up with the bolts. So if you're an old way. schooler, drill your holes. If you're new and you get it, well, lucky you. So what are these though? Uh, this this is the bucket clamp. So this is the bucket mount so that so this is actually going to go Up here And the other plate will set behind it you bolt it together you can slide it however you want You're gonna bring your bucket in your buckets gonna sit right inside of here like this you strap it down and then on and off the trailer in one fell swoop as opposed to get my grader off get my bucket off put my bucket you got a spot to hold your bucket because that's got a spot for the when, when you got it this much this takes up a lot of valuable real estate on a trailer it so, does okay and if you're limited in space this this alleviates some of that uh burden all right perfect thank you michael yeah